What's up, guys, and welcome back, finally, to Scum. As you can see, we have a completely fresh character. Like I said, we are not going to continue with um, Larry and Sam at the moment. Uh, but anyway, we are up here. By this little town, kind of in between that little town and uh, that really nice little lake house. I think for the time being, we're going to make that lake house our base. From the standpoint of, there's supposed to be an update coming out soon with the Halloween update. I don't know if it's going to come with a partial wipe or not. Because they're supposed to be adding some new features and whatnot too, hopefully. Like the cruiser bike and, and whatnot. Um, so I don't know if it's going to come with a wipe or not, so I don't want to go out and start building a nice big base until after that update. Anywho, um, oh, I guess I need a stone. Good Lord, it's been a while since I've done anything here. <sighs> Let's see, can I do... Yes. Fantastic. <sighs> uh, I do apologize for not getting anything up for a week now. But, uh, in addition to the flare-up I had last week, I then got food poisoning. Uh, that was not good times. I, I will spare you guys the lovely details of that adventure. Uh, but suffice it to say, I I was not having a good time. I I did not sleep or eat for a solid two or three days. So uh, yeah, that was lots of fun. I don't even. What am I trying to do here? I I, <laughs> I don't even remember what I'm doing. Uh, no, I need a bag first, which I need rags for, which I need to cut up my shirt. How many rags do I need? No, 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 that's what I was trying to do with the sticks. I need a rope. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Let's see, so we need to cut this into small sticks. <sighs> but yeah, so food poisoning on top of a fibromyalgia flare-up is... Without a doubt, the absolute worst I have ever felt in my entire life. I I would uh, highly recommend that you don't ever try that. Not that it was intentional, but you know what I'm saying. Let's see y'all. Now we can get some rags from you. I don't remember how many. Can I get enough rags from you? I highly doubt it. Not quite. Drat. Alrighty then. How about... I don't want to cut up that because that gets me inventory space right now. This one does not. I can do this one. Sorry, like I said, it's been a, a little bit since I've had to... Do the basics here. Okay, now we can make the, the bag. <sighs> Let's see, we need that. We need a bow. Some arrows. Um... Well, he's in the middle of a thing here, but, uh, uh I w well, here, I can kind of show you some of this stuff. Okay, this is what we have for our character for this time. I, I went a little bit different route. Uh, dexterity is basically non-existent. I, I have, um, basic thievery, and that's it. I didn't put anything into anything else. That way I could add a little bit to some of these other things. Uh, strength, we're focusing on melee and archery for right now. We've got a little bit in guns, but mostly kind of focusing on the basic things here. 
Uh, conditioning, I put everything into endurance. Because running is fairly easy to upgrade. I, I could just have him run in place for however long. And that'll help get his running up. Anyway, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. This one. Intelligence. Um, we have basic survival and engineering. But about halfway up to uh, medium. I've got medium medical so that I can heal better. And basic awareness just so that I can actually see things. But anyway. Stuff and things. Can put the, put the bag on, please. Thank you. Now, how do we do the bow? I cannot remember how we do the bow. I need more rope. Does that have to be a long? It does have to be a long one. Okay. Okay, so we need more rope. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, give me that then. And this and this. This doesn't really do us any good. Okay, more bushes. Now, I have no idea what exactly we're going to be trying to do for this season. Um, I don't really have a plan. It's <laughs> just kind of, hey, let's get in and have fun. We'll kind of see if things get more interesting after the, uh, the Halloween update. Why can I not make rope? Oh, because I don't have it. My knife went away. I mean, it didn't, but it's... Yay, there we go. It feels good just kind of getting back into doing the basic stuff. You know, I didn't do some of that with... I mean, I, I did kind of, sort of, a little bit with Larry. But not, not as much as I normally would like to. Also, um, currently, we have the sentries turned on. Uh, they are set at the same settings as um, the Wolfpack server settings. So they are at 10% health and 10% damage. Um, but I do have them set to where they will not drop on a base. I got two sticks out of that? Really? That sucks. And make a couple of arrows, I guess. Yeah, I know you're slightly chilly. We'll deal with that here shortly. Give me those, please. Thank you. Need more rock now, because I need yet another knife. And then we can make some more arrows, and then we can actually head into town and, and start looking for stuff and things. Maybe we can find you a better coat. What am I a better coat? You don't have a coat at all. You know what I'm talking about. But first things first, you need stuff. Sorry, maybe you guys prefer first person. I know some of you prefer first person. I go back and forth. I'm, I'm fine either way. 
So if you guys have a preference, let me know and we'll try and stick with it one way or another. I know a lot of you like first person because it's more immersive. Which I agree. I, I I do like first person for the immersion, but I also like third person because I, I like being able to see the character models. Yeah, I know. You're cold. We're trying to deal with that. We need a few more arrows. Six arrows of these basic arrows is not good enough. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to think of all the settings that I have right now. Um... The puppets are just basic health right now. <clears throat> um, I, I think they're, yeah, their basic health and basic damage right now will fiddle with that throughout the, the season if need be. There we go. That'll get us 10, so that ought to be enough. And uh, let's see, hordes, as per usual, are turned off, but currently, per your guys' voting at the polls there, um, puppets can go, can both open doors and go through windows. So that is the current puppet settings. We will see if that changes. I'm not going to bother grabbing another knife right now, because those are the easiest thing to get. Um, let's see. As far as the character, I have zero stealth and zero camouflage. <laughs> so we're probably going to get spotted pretty easily, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Um, let's see. I'm just, I'm trying to think of how we have everything set. Right now, we have the puppet numbers, just the basic puppet numbers, uh, set to default. But, we have the low player count mode turned on, which increases the number of puppets and pre-spawns the puppets in an area, so we will be able to see them from further away, and they should be, um, you know what, I will take the piece of rubber. Um, 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 <clears throat> completely lost my train of thought there. The, the puppets should spawn further away, <clears throat> and they should not be spawning on top of us. Now, if this does not seem like enough puppets, then we can certainly increase that number. Oh, hi. Not real sure why I'm searching you. You're not going to have anything I need at the moment. Yeah, I don't need any of that. And I don't have enough room to carry anything. Hey, there's a better knife. We'll just put you down here. Could I have some better clothing, please? A backpack would be lovely. A, a better backpack... A jacket. Some better shoes would be fantastic. Yeah, I'll take those. Do those actually provide any kind of warmth? Yes, they do. You get one level of 
of insulation. Fantastic. And currently, loot is just default. So, if, if you guys would like me to tweak the settings at all, let me know. Because most things are set to default, aside from, like I said, the sentry health and hordes being turned off. So, if you guys would like me to uh, bump up the puppet numbers some, or make the puppets more difficult, we can certainly do that. Just it, I've been playing on the multiplayer server and, and kind of got used to the default puppets again, so that's kind of what I was going for until I get back into the swing of things here. Now, there is also a setting now to where you can tweak the... Uh, let me see if I can um, find it here. Uh, world? Oh, yeah, I still have the abandoned bunker set to really high. I need to test this. I really want to test this. So we will do an abandoned bunker run at some point here once we get, you know, somewhat geared up. Um... These numbers here, the, the noise commotion threshold. This is supposed to be to where the higher this number is, the more noise you can make without triggering the razors and Brenner. So we're, we're going to test this out. This is as high as you can set it. So I'm very curious. If you can set it you know, really high like this and actually go in and just not trigger the razors. I'm, I'm curious about this. That's why this setting is, is the way it is. We're not necessarily going to leave it at that, but I wanted to test that. Uh, let's see. Hunting. here is it, is it this one? You can also set the, um, the animal's health now. Also, there's horse max health in here, but I have yet to actually see a horse. Uh, let's see. Is it in NPCs? I don't remember where it is. I, I really don't remember. Here we go. Animal world encounter spawn weight multiplier. I have that set to three. This is supposed to be, according to the little thingy, they set random open world animal spawn weight, which modify the spawn chance. So, if I understand this correctly, this will increase the number of animals that spawn in the world, which would be really nice. Because currently, as most people have complained, there's not a whole lot of animals in the world. You know, the hunting is virtually non-existent a lot of the time. Oh, crap, there's two of you in here. Ah, crap. Yep, yeah, come on, you. I'm I'm better at the headshots than I thought I was gonna be after taking so much time off. Cause it's it's been, uh, it's been. How long has it been since I've even been in Scum? Cause the last three videos we did were until dawn. Ooh, screwdriver! Thank you. I really wish that the puppet clothing was not just utterly destroyed, you know? Hey, there were some batteries. Was that on the puppet, or...? Yeah, which means they're garbage. Yeah, it's a big old load of poo. I'm not really likely to find much of anything in, in here, but you never know. Sometimes you do find some good stuff. Climb the stairs. Drat. But yeah, our guy is built about like me right now.
Except he can run better than I can because <clears throat> both of my knees are bad. Like, one one knee has um, <clears throat> not a whole lot of cartilage left. And the other knee, the ACL, is torn. To the point that it's, it's hanging on by a tiny little thread. It's not completely gone yet, but it's... It's hanging on by a tiny little thread, which is why my knee will sometimes pop out of place, because it has virtually no support left. So that's always fun. <sighs> I don't remember, this town has a police station, doesn't it? Fairly certain it does. I always liked this little town. This was my go-to town. Because when I first started playing Scum, I lived in this little, the lake house here. And I would come down here, hit this town, go up to the bunker up here, and then go hit the trader. And that this is basically where I lived. I never left these two sectors here. <laughs> Because I love the little lake house. It has everything you need. It is, in my opinion, the best starting base location. Because you don't need to add anything. It has a, a house that you can put basic storage in. You know, you can put chests and stuff. It has a refrigerator, a large refrigerator like one of these. Which have a pretty good chunk of space in them. It's got the stove and oven combo, so you can cook your food, so long as you have a generator and a propane tank. But, uh, I mean, obviously you can also just build a fire. But it has a workshop with three workbenches. Uh, hi there. Yep, come on. Come on. Out the window. Yeah. Yeah. You took more than I thought you would. Actually, I should... Dang it. I need to start grabbing the arrows first, because I've noticed something. Eh, we'll take those, I guess. I've noticed that sometimes, when you... Um, when you search the puppets... For whatever reason, sometimes your arrows will disappear. That doesn't do me any good at all. I mean, it doesn't have inventory, does it? No. Actually, can I cut it into rags? I could, I could probably... Wait, we're running low on inventory space. But uh, I could really use more than one rag. Hey. Ooh, they're very, very dirty. I really don't want to use those to bandage a wound if I don't have to. Put, put the knife away, please. Get the bow back out. Yes. Drat. But, yeah, let me know... On uh, some of the settings, like for the puppets, if you guys want more puppets, there's actually fewer puppets than I'm used to. Because you guys remember how it used to be on my single player. You'd come out here and there'd be, like, multiple puppets just standing out here in the road. I, I kind of miss that, so I think we are going to go ahead and up the, uh, the puppet numbers. So... I'll do that after this episode is over, because I can't remember if I have to restart the server or not for that. But, anywho. Uh, da, 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 okay, we didn't go to this one yet. I need to start leaving the doors open. The puppets can open the doors and go through the windows anyway, so it's not like it matters. But that tells me where I have been. Hello? Hello. 
yeah, we're definitely going to up the puppet numbers. This is this feels very empty. Hey, well, well, I mean, those will help keep us a little bit warmer. So that that's better than nothing, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, rubber band. What is it that we need for the metal sword? No, metal sword. Rubber band. We used to need a piece of rubber. That's the whole reason why I took the piece of rubber. Because we originally needed the rubber, I, I think, for the handle. Okay. Ew. That's unfortunate. You don't want it in the toolbox. All right, then. Well. Why does it say I have two rubber bands? It says I have two. Whatever, I'm not going to question it. I'll... I'll Can I please find some clothing? That's not really good. Well, let's see. You replace... Yeah, you replace my underwear and, and you give me... God, those would be horribly uncomfortable to wear underneath some other clothing, but whatever. Give us extra inventory, so I'll take it. Eh, I don't care about either of those. Stuff and things, better clothing. Stuff for sewing kits. That would be lovely. Thread. Thread would be splendiferous. E. Yeah, I know you're slightly chilly. You'll be fine. Water. I'm going to go ahead and get us a drink of water. Might as well keep water topped up. Food, not so much. That's that's not as big of an issue. You know, because getting low on food will help improve our dexterity. Oh. Is there a downstairs to this building? Yes, I, I went the complete wrong direction to get there. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Boop. Well, neither one of those is useful to me. What is the bent pitchfork for? I mean, I'm assuming it is a melee weapon. But they're they're not particularly useful. It would be more useful if you just snap the fork off and uh, use the the handle as a spear. I really want them to add, and several people have asked for it, so hopefully the devs will listen, a way to, hey, oh, yes, please, a way to stealth kill the puppets. So, like, if you can, you know, yeah, this one, you know, if you can sneak up behind them, there should be an action to where you could then stab them from behind you know like just stab them through the back of the head and and kill them with one blow like that from stealth a lot of people have been asking for that so hopefully the devs will listen i've been asking for that for a long time like ever since i started playing scum i've been asking for that uh, sure we'll take that and we'll take the milk why not um, for now, we'll take the matches. We really don't need the matches right now. I'm not too concerned about trying to build a fire. Although, I would like to do a more survival-based 
play through, I guess. Not necessarily play through, but you know what I mean. Of scum, where you're, you're focused much more on having to survive kind of in the wild. Not necessarily in the wild, but I, I, what I would really like to see them do is add some more maps, maybe? Because currently the map is about as big as they can make it. It, it has... Wait a minute. Did we go in here? I don't think we went in this one. Did we go in this one? No. They're, they're not really able to make the map itself any bigger. It's pretty much at the limits of what Unreal Engine can handle according to the devs. So, we're not going to get any more extensions to the map, which is why they're just reworking the, the POIs. So, what I would like to see... Built that way. Mm, don't care. What I would like to see is... Hi. Oh, that window's... <laughs> what I would like to see is more maps. You know, rather than trying to cram everything into this map, give us some additional maps. They can even be a little bit smaller than this one. They don't have to be this big, because this is a pretty darn big map. You know, but I would love to see a map that the entire thing is winter. To where it's more... Ooh, camouflage. You're more damaged than the trucker jacket, though. What is it? Trucker jacket gives four. That gives three. Mm. The trucker jacket is actually in better condition, so we'll stick with the trucker jacket. However, victory is 63. We'll go ahead and cut this thing into rags. Um, yeah, if they made a map that was more... You know, that, that was cold to where you had to deal with the fire aspects of the game more. You know, you needed to make fire to keep warm and to cook food. And, you know, they're talking about adding it into where you have to boil water to make it safe. Which I think would be a good idea. Now... I say I think it'd be a good idea, sort of, because from a survival perspective, not all wild water, if that makes sense, is, um, is, is dangerous. You know, the general rule of thumb is the colder the water and the faster it is moving, the safer it is. As just a general rule. And so, places like the... Like up north. If you go up into the... the uh, whatever. Just you go up north where it's cold. That water would be safer than, say, one of these stagnant lakes down here. And even with the lakes, and, and just the rivers in general down here, that doesn't necessarily mean that the water will make you sick. It just means that it has a higher probability of having some kind of contaminant or bacteria. And so I hope that they don't make it to where... Yeah, I thought those were work gloves. I hope that they don't make it to where you have to boil the water or it will make you sick. I, I hope that it's just like... I hope that they figure in actual... 
you know, water contamination likelihood. And it would also depend on your character's stats. You know, you'd be somewhat more resistant to diseases if you have certain stats and whatnot. Because I know that, it, like, in Daisy, if memory serves, if you drink any water... Then, like, if if you drink the water from a lake or a river or whatever, there you're you're going to get some level of sick if you do not boil the water. If memory serves, it's been a very long time since I've played Daisy, so maybe that's not the case anymore. And maybe I'm misremembering, and it never was the case. I don't know, but the point is, I, I hope that. They do make it as realistic as possible. You know, because Scum has a... Let's see, I don't remember this house. Hmm. Sure. Scum has a lot going for it in terms of realism already. You know, with the metallic... Oh! Those, my arm scared me. I, I heard. Ow. I heard that puppet and turned because I was searching this thing and saw my arm and thought there was a puppet right here, so I started panicking. <laughs> when it was her over there. Hey, another screwdriver. Now, that was just stupid of me blindly jumping into this house without checking anything first. Hey, this is a good one, though. This one has the uh, the attic up there, so we can, we can hole up here. Hey, there's thread. Yes! Oh, it's actually almost a full one, too. Hey, hey, excuse me. Can I have your, can I have your bones? I need your bones. I, I need those for a needle, please. Yeah, that's a full thing of thread. Hee hee ha ha ho ho. Sewing kit. What do we need for that? Nine. Okay. Drat. Fair enough. Hey, it's Sam. But uh, what do you guys think about the the idea of you know a more survival based um, play through or just I, I I don't know just something to where we're it, it, we would probably. I don't know if we would turn the loot down, but hey. I don't like the rubber boots. But we we would focus more on Trying to, you know, craft things, um, grow things, hunt, build.
build fires. Oh, hi there. Hey, we're up to what, five of these now? How many do we need for the police station? Eight for the police station, I believe. Okay. We are well on our way. Hot diggity dang. Let's see, have we done this one? No. Good. I die, am I? Man, I'm glad they don't just immediately start slapping the crap out of you, you know? Hey. I'm already missing two arrows. I know I'm mi I know I was missing one. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. But yeah, we, we will definitely be adding. Hey, there's the police station right there. Perfect. We will definitely be adding more puppets in. Because this does not seem like enough. I mean, for right now, I'm not complaining because we don't have any kind of gear. Sure. Uh, I don't like the yellow, but that's okay. We'll just stay in first person so I don't have to look at it. Oh, see, I want to take the frying pan and the cooking pot. You know. Hey, can I swap that rubber band for this one? Ooh, yay! Oh, you guys know I like the woodcutter shirts. Ooh. Oh. I mean, they're slightly better than the... the inmate pants, I guess, technically. Kinda. A little bit. Maybe. If you think about it hard enough. Yeah, they look just terrible though, don't they? Ooh, a motor... Uh, that's not the one I like though. I know I can't eat with a mask on. Yeah, I don't like that one. It just... it. It doesn't look like it would be comfortable. It, it looks too rigid. You know, I don't like that one. I like the other one. It looks more like it's a leather mask. Let's see. We're probably not going to try the police station until I find enough screwdrivers to actually do the whole thing. And that's just because of my OCD. I, I don't like leaving lockers undone, you know? Also, if we could find a vehicle, that would be just awesome. I'm really looking forward to the cruiser coming in because I want the cruiser... You know, I, I like the dirt bike in theory. Hey, that's a pharmacy. I like the dirt bike in theory. I hate the noise of the dirt bike. It is so obnoxious. Especially with the way that the... Ooh. Hmm. The problem is I like the trucker jacket better. 
<gasps> a backpack. Oh, yes. Backpack. And it doesn't even need repaired or anything. Oh, hot diggity dang. Hot dang diggity even. Hot dangity dig. You can go away now. I don't really need more rags, though. Put the backpack on, stupid. Thank you. Ah, that's nice right there. Hey, a beanie. I, I will take that over the that fugly yellow fishing hat. Anybody upstairs? Yep. Give me that back, please. I need those. Well, Drat, I don't need that off of you because I can make needles from you guys. Emergency bandage. I will take that so that we don't have to use the dirty rags. I would like to find an emergency bandage pack. Maybe some medication. Ooh. Very clean rags. Right, but I mean, we'll take them. With the vitamin pills, I found it's pretty much best to just eat the whole thing. Because they don't give a whole lot just per pill, it seems like. And they wear off very, very quickly. Oh, there we go. Ooh, more. Ooh, those are money right there. Also, what what would you guys like to see as far as do you want me to you know use the traders quite a bit, avoid the traders? You don't really care one way or another. Hey. Cuz again, we're back into single player. And so gas and propane do not cost any money. So in multiplayer, that's kind of why I needed to go to the trader, was to make sure we had money for gas. Oh, I came out not where I wanted to be. Hey, there's a gas can there. Ooh, a smartphone battery. I don't have anything to use it in, though. Damn, I want that gas can. Uh, is that knife better than mine? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll take the shotgun ammo. What the hell? Okay. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of the shotguns. Just from the standpoint of they are slow and they can be interrupted very, very easily. Now, the reality is at this point, we don't necessarily need more clothing and basic gear. We have, and we've got some, I technically kind of, hey, there we go. Kind of, sort of better pants, I guess. We got us a, a decent backpack. We got a jacket, better shirt, hat. Hey. Man, why you gotta be so damaged? I mean, we have the sewing kit, but the problem is I don't really like the firefighter pants. Yeah. 
Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we're still wearing the yoga leggings, too. I can take those off if we get too warm. Okay. Ooh, money. Hey, you go over here, please. Thank you. No. We're also wearing those still, too, aren't we? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Fair enough. Excuse me. Pardon me, table. Okay. Well, like I said, we don't have enough screwdrivers to do the entire police station currently. We still need better shoes, don't we? Yeah. Better shoes, more screwdrivers. Yeah, I know. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'll deal with you guys eventually. Right now, I need more screwdrivers. And I wanted to check the other garages around the police station. They might have good stuff in them. Eh, so far, they don't. Deep orange. Mm, probably not. I'm trying to decide what vehicle we want to try to procure. To some degree, it's not really up to me. To some degree, it's going to be, hey, this is what we found. You know, this is what's available. But if I had my choice, I'm trying to decide what I would want. Ooh, jumper cables. I will take those. Gunpowder, I'm not too concerned about right now. I have never actually crafted much in the way of ammunition. I, I have done it a little bit, just kind of to test it out. But it's not a priority, so... Got a gas can. Hopefully those stay. Okay, and we checked this one. Yes, okay. Okie dokie. Well, drat. Well, I guess we're going to just continue checking houses until we can find enough screwdrivers to hit the police station. But we've been going for almost an hour now, and I, I think for now I'm going to call it good right there. Because this is, you know, regardless, this is not going to be a super exciting episode. Plus, I kind of want to get the puppet numbers up some before we go into the police station. And like I said, I just kind of want the puppet numbers up a little bit more anyway around here. Because the town feels very empty, you know. So there will be more puppets next time. And uh, then we will continue our search through this town and hopefully hit the police station. Um, but otherwise, I don't really have too much to ramble about. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and just plug all the links in the description as per usual. We've got uh, St. Jude Children's Hospital and Wounded Warrior Project, as well as uh, my friend William's GoFundMe set up to help pay for his cancer treatments. And then we have my Discord server for the YouTube channel. We have the Discord server for the Wolfpack Scum server, which is the multiplayer server that I play on. And then we have my wife's YouTube channel and uh, Alfredo Gaming's YouTube channel. My wife does um, rain videos, relaxation videos, and paranormal videos. And Alfredo Gaming does... Um, some scum videos, and uh, some Ghost Recon's Wildlands. So if any of that sounds like anything interesting to you guys, check out those links. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your patience with my absence. And uh, hopefully we will get back into some more adventures here. 
So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.